It's a school choice showdown. This Super Tuesday, 16 Texas state Republicans who voted against Governor Greg Abbott's school choice initiative are facing re-election. So will voters remove them over their stance? Joining us now to discuss a senior fellow for the American Federation of Children, Corey DeAngelis, who's been a great fighter for school choice across this country. Corey, let me start with this. You know, um, this is my home state. I am from a rural area in Texas. I think it would be qualified as a rural area, Grayson County, Sherman, Texas. And most of the Republicans who voted with Democrats to fight school choice, fight against school choice in Texas, were rural Republicans. What was their motivation? Why, why would this be something they'd vote against? I mean, the vast majority of these guys were previously endorsed by the state affiliate of the NEA, the largest teachers union in the country. So this excuse about being in a rural area is just that, it's them trying to have their cake and eat it too. Other states that have more, much more rural areas like West Virginia already have universal school choice. So mm -hmm. this, is, this is just an excuse. R really quick though, Corey, I'm just trying to fully understand why, because look, those rural legislators in Texas are going to be very Republican. They're going to be very conservative on most issues. Is it that they, because by the way, there's not private school options in most of those rural districts. So you give a $10,500 uh, voucher, it's no real threat to the local school system. There's no place to go. So is it that, well, the school district in that system is a big employer and that's why the NEA endorsement and support matters so much? Yes, yeah, because the, the, in the rural areas, the school district is one of the biggest employers. But they'll try to say on the one hand that they can't use this, but then on the other hand, it's going to destroy their fantastic rural public schools. One, right. if they're so fantastic, you should have nothing to worry about. But if you have no exit options, you should be the last person arguing this is going to defund your schools. Let's take a look at uh, the point you made about West Virginia. Let's take a look at the states who have embraced universal school choice or near universal school choice across the country. You can see there Oklahoma, Arkansas, next door to Texas, and then scattered through the South and the Midwest and the Southwest. Um, so this this proposal by Abbott would open up, as I mentioned, ten thousand five hundred dollar vouchers to students in Texas to apply wherever they want, private, uh, whatever their options, freedom. Yeah. Yeah, you can take your, your kids' education dollars to the public, private, charter, or homeschool option of your choosing. And if you look back at that map, those are all red states. This should be a no-brainer no for a state like Texas, controlled by Republicans. School choice is on the Republican Party platform, and it was supported on the ballot in 2022 by 88% of Texas Republican primary voters. So this is a, a conservative GOP litmus test issue, and this is partially why these 16 rhinos have challengers who all support school choice. The challengers are backed by Greg Abbott, Ted Cruz, Donald Trump, even Attorney General Ken Paxton. We're all uh, uh, rowing the same direction here. The wind is at our backs. And I think a lot of these guys are going to, to lose their seats either in the election on Tuesday or in a runoff uh, later on because this is a huge uh, priority of Republican primary voters. I want to follow up on that really quickly. You're right, by the way, they're all, they're, they're, they're challengers. The challengers have been endorsed by those you just mentioned. One of the things I noticed personally, Corey, is while I grew up in a place where you really didn't have a private school option, school choice is even more important in urban environments where you really have these failing schools and you have options. For example, the lines for charter schools in New York City are out the door. So one of the things you often find in rural areas is apathy towards the issue, you know, among the voters. Like, well, it doesn't really impact us in our area, but you're saying 88% of Republicans, well, they support it, but are they passionate about the idea of school choice in those environments? I mean, if you look at the polling on it uh, from the University of Houston, University of Texas, Austin, whether you look at rural, urban, or suburban, you see that Republican voters in particular are extremely supportive. Some polls finding that the rural voters are even more supportive of school choice than suburban and ur urban voters. So this is across the uh, geographical spectrum supported by Republican primary voters. So I think, look, uh, and a lot of these incumbents were, that they were not endorsed by Randy Weingarten's union the AFT, but they are privately being supported by them with uh, phone banking, uh, funding indirectly through the Defend Rural Texas PAC, which was actually set up in Austin, uh, quite a, a rural area, right, uh, right. not, but um, it, it just goes to show you the teachers union endorsement has become a political kiss of death for Republicans uh, in conservative areas. Well, as you meant, Tuesday we'll know more. Tuesday, we'll get exactly the view of the voters in, in Texas. Um, school choice, ideologically, the right thing for individual rights, to be quite honest. Corey DeAngelis, thank you so much.
I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.